Okay, I'm going to be showing you how to tie the FG knot. Um, I'm doing this at my workbench here because it's going to be easier to film this way, but in real life, um, you would do it with your line through your guides, your rod already, and one of the keys is not having tension on your spectra. So I use this clamp, but this is where your rod tip would be, and you could lean it against the rail of the boat, and then hold the tag into the line in your mouth to keep it nice and taut, and just let the, the rod weigh against it to keep it tight. Um, easy enough to do. So the way this knot is tied, clean this up a little, is to um, you take the tag end of your fluorocarbon uh, leader and you go over the spectra once and then you go under the spectra towards the rod tip and then you pull it tight. And then you're going to do the same thing going towards your tag end over and under tight. And every time you're pulling your leader straight and letting the spectra bunch up. So we'll show you again. Over and under. Over and under. And you're gonna do this a total of 20 times. So 10 on each side, so that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Now if your leader gets a little short, like mine is here, you could pull more out to work with. And that will also cinch up your knot a bit. So you have 17, 18, 19 and 20. Okay, so the twisting of the knot is done. You should have a straight line with your leader and the line wrapped, the specter wrapped around it. Now all I'll do is I'll pinch it right there. And I'm going to uh, release my tensioner because I don't need it anymore. Um, in this case, you would have uh, uh, let it free from your mouth. So now you're going to push your line, your tag into your leader back up towards your main line and you're going to do two half hitches over both lines and that is going to secure that knot enough that you can go to the next step and release the tension entirely here and that is to cinch it down. So you're going to want to pull on this very hard holding on to the tag in so it cinches down completely. Now that's a very important step there because that is seating the knot and it's digging into the the specter itself is digging into the uh, fluorocarbon and making grooves to give it grip. Now you could trim your tag end as close as you can to the line. I mean as little as possible is perfect. It's not going anywhere at this point. So now I'll take my tag end and I'll do two more half hitches while keeping this tight. And all that's really doing is burying the spectra. I could have trimmed a little closer here. Burying the spectra and protecting it from hitting your rod guides as you're going through the tip or things like that. So just giving you a little cushion, that's the only only reason you're doing this. So once you've tied those, you can again pull your knot as tight as you like. It's not gonna budge at all. And then I will cut my tag in very close to the thing or to the knot. And put a drop of tack glue on to, I it sealed shut here for a second to have to do it. I'll do it afterwards but uh, it gives you a very small knot very clean cast through the guides allows you to um, uh, use a longer leader than you would be able to with a knot that's not going to go through the guides uh, easily because there's no tag end you can see the tag end is completely hidden it's a strong knot it will 
the harder you pull, the tighter it's going to get. 